In this video, we'll walk you through a few important settings you'll need to set up on your Icon Professional T8 Intelligent Diagnostic Scanner before you begin using it. When you first boot up the tablet, you'll be taken through an initial Android login. If the Icon Diagnostic app loads at some point, press the arrow button on the bottom right of the screen to exit the app and continue initial setup. You'll be prompted to join a Wi-Fi network. Enter your network settings and tap Connect to continue. Once connected to Wi-Fi, your scanner will check for available system updates. You can tap Update to immediately update the system. If you don't want to update the system at this time, or if the update prompt times out and disappears, we'll show you how to initiate the system update after you've completed the Android setup. After checking for system updates, Android will check for OS and app updates and install any necessary updates automatically. Next, you'll be prompted to enter a Google account. This is recommended for full functionality of the tablet. Tap to allow the recommended permissions. Next, you're given the opportunity to set up a lock screen. You can set up or change this later in system settings if desired. Follow the prompts and you'll be taken to the tablet home screen. Once you're in the tablet home screen, it's recommended that you check for any pending system updates. Swipe up from the bottom of the home screen to view the app tray. Tap on System Update to open the prompt. If an update is ready, you'll be given the option to download and install it. Tap the arrow to download the firmware update. Once the download is complete, tap the arrow again to install the update. The update may take a few minutes to complete. Once complete, the scanner will reboot. You'll be prompted to grant permissions to DPU Link Manager Service. This is the service that manages the connection to the scanner's WSM module. Tap Continue to grant the necessary permissions. You'll need to register your ICON Diagnostic Software. In the ICON main menu, select Settings. Tap on the Profile tab. If you don't already have an ICON account, then select Register. From this page, enter a username and create a password. Enter your remaining information and tap Join. After successful software registration, you'll be prompted to activate your WSM. Either enter the serial number or use the camera feature to scan the QR code on your WSM. Then enter the activation code found in the sealed envelope included with your product. Tap Activate to complete activation of the WSM. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your shop information. You can skip this step if desired and update from the settings menu at any time. You can choose a header image and enter any relevant shop information. Next, you'll be asked if you want to update the software. It's recommended that you do this before using the scanner. Tap Download and the software will be updated automatically. This may take a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Now that your software is registered and updated, you'll need to configure your WSM module. To do this, simply connect your WSM to the Datalink connector on an OBD2 or newer vehicle with your scanner tablet nearby and connect it to Wi-Fi. The scanner will automatically connect to the WSM and begin updating the firmware. The update should only take a minute or two depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Once complete, your scanner is fully functional and ready to use. Printing over Wi-Fi from your scanner is very simple. The scanner should automatically see and be able to use any Wi-Fi connected printers on the same network without any additional setup. To verify this, make sure your scanner is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. Scroll down from the top of the screen to access the quick settings, then swipe down again to expand the menu. Tap the gear icon in the lower right of the menu to go to settings. In the search bar, type printer and search. Open up the printing settings and tap on default print service. From this screen, you'll be able to see any available Wi-Fi printers on your network. You should be able to select these printers from the printer dropdown when printing a report. It's recommended that you secure your scanner tablet with a lock screen for security. Scroll down from the top of the screen to access the quick settings, then swipe down again to expand the menu. Tap the gear icon in the lower right of the menu to go to settings. Scroll down to security, then select screen lock. From this menu, choose the type of screen lock you prefer and follow the prompts to complete the setup. Once you've got a screen lock set up, you can set up face unlock if desired. From the screen lock menu, simply select face unlock and follow the prompts to set up your facial data. If you need to adjust the brightness of the display, simply scroll down from the top of the screen to access the quick settings, then swipe down again to expand the menu. The top slider controls the screen brightness. 
for security purposes or to preserve battery life, you may want to adjust the screen display timeout. To adjust this, scroll down from the top of the screen to access the quick settings, then swipe down again to expand the menu. Tap the gear icon in the lower right of the menu to go to settings. Scroll down and tap on display. From the menu, tap screen timeout and adjust the setting to your need. The Android operating system supports multiple languages. To adjust this, scroll down from the top of the screen to access the quick settings, then swipe down again to expand the menu. Tap the gear icon in the lower right of the menu to go to settings. Scroll down and tap on System. At the top of the menu, tap on Languages and Input. From there, tap Languages and Add a Language. Tap on your preferred language to add. You can find additional support information and videos on our website, or you can contact our Technical Support Center directly and we'll be happy to help.